Hello everyone, back again with us. Welcome to Moto Stylist Channel. Today we will introduce the 2022 KTM 1290 Super Adventure R. KTM 1290 Super Adventure R 2022 received a lot of improvements on the engine, chassis, and onboard electronics. It is powered by a variation of the 75 degree 1301 cubic centimeters V-twin LC8, also known from the outrageously fun 1290 Super Duke R Evo. This motor for the 2022 model year has been modified to comply with Euro 5, which required a rather impressive list of changes. Power KTM 1290 Super Adventure R 2022 on the KTM 1290 Super Adventure, our 2022 dyno peaked at 136.32 horsepower at 9200 RPM and 118.58 Nm at 7010 RPM. Separately, it is worth noting that already from idle, the torque takes on very impressive values, and from 3500 RPM it reaches a flat shelf over 108 Nm, which sags slightly only after 9000 RPM. Interestingly, the Super Duke or Evo definitely has a similar engine dot other settings. The 1290 Super Adventure R also gets the same chassis adjustments as its S counterpart, with the steering head moved back 0.6 inch, the 1301 cubic centimeters LC8 V-twin rotated slightly forward, and the new die-cast swing arm lengthened slightly, all of which is said to improve agility. Also in the improved handling checklist is the reworked 8.7 inch travel, fully adjustable WP suspension, which KTM says was perfected via testing in the California desert as well as varied landscapes across Europe. Keeping everything in line is a new 6-axis Bosch IMU that controls the 1290 Super Adventure R's plethora of electronic rider aids, motorcycle traction control, motor slip regulation, motorcycle stability control, and the off-road ABS system. There are four standard ride modes, rain, sport, street, and off-road, with the optional rally mode unlocking the most aggressive throttle control and the ability to select from nine levels of rear wheel spin. Bear in mind that the aggressive throttle will be tethered to 1,301 cubic centimeters of LC8 engine that's now 3.5 pounds lighter, with new pistons and redesigned exhaust headers, and which KTM says is good for 160 horsepower and 102 pound-feet of torque while still being Euro 5 compliant. Actually, I take back my previous question. Rounding out the updates for 2022 is a new two-piece radiator, replacing the previous single unit and promising better heat dissipation that won't toast the rider's legs. The airbox is now much easier to access, requiring the removal of just four screws, and it's been redesigned to direct dirt and sand toward the bottom. I'm guessing these were lessons learned in the California desert. Overall, KTM appears to be continuing to maintain its position on the hard, sharp tip of the ADV Turing Spear, and the 2022-1290 Super Adventure Art looks you in the eye and asks if you're man, or woman, enough to flog it properly. <laughs>